Tonight, Freedom 7, the story of the first American in space, the agonizing wait, the flight, the recovery. And here is NBC News correspondent Frank McGee. The United States space program, bruised and battered in competition with the Soviet Union, took a significant and highly gratifying step forward today. With the eyes of the world watching, the United States, on its first try, sent a man into space and recovered him safely. It was an ironic fact that even a spectacular success would leave this country trailing the Soviet Union and its feat of placing a man in orbit around the Earth and accomplishing his recovery, and that a failure would not only humiliate us publicly before the world, but might possibly cost the life of a man. But it was a step that had to be taken, and because the word freedom emblazoned on the side of the capsule means what it says, a step that was taken out in the open. This day for astronaut Alan Shepard began at five minutes past one Eastern Daylight Time this morning when he was awakened in his special quarters at Cape Canaveral. After breakfast, a physical examination and being fitted into his pressure chute suit, Shepard rode to the launching pad, took an elevator to the top of the 83-foot missile and entered the capsule. A number of delays caused primarily by weather, and during one of which a defective inverter was replaced, held up the launching and kept Shepard in the capsule for four hours and 16 minutes before the liftoff finally came. But finally, the crucial moment in the countdown neared. You will even hear Shepard's voice at the moment of liftoff.
Fifteen minutes after liftoff, Shepard landed in the Atlantic, and the recovery phase of Project Freedom 7 began. Film camera crews were aboard the principal vessels involved in the astronauts' recovery from the Atlantic, but unfortunately, they encountered camera difficulties, and their film of the parachute descent into the water is unusable. The recovery itself was accomplished in a bit over 11 minutes, and Shepard was taken aboard the aircraft carrier Lake Champlain. 